breaking, China just totally humiliated Obama. The American left would have us believe that President Trump isn't respected by world leaders, but this is merely projection. After the weakest American leader to ever hold office vacated the White House last January. Take, for example, the nation of China and the way they treated President Obama during his final years in office. Obama, who was notably weak on foreign policy and capitulated to all of the wrong people in the world, was totally snubbed by the Chinese government when he visited the nation for the last time. In September of 2016, he flew into China on Air Force One, but instead of getting the welcome the leader of the free world should have received, he instead was totally snubbed at the Hangzhou airport upon his arrival. At the time, conservative columnist Charles Krauthammer wrote for National Review. The President of the United States lands with all the majesty of Air Force One, waiting to exit the front door and stride down the rolling staircase to the red carpeted tarmac. Except that there is no rolling staircase. He is forced to exit, as one China expert put it rather undiplomatically, through the ass of the plane. This happened Saturday at Hangzhou Airport. Yes, in China. If the Chinese didn't invent diplomatic protocol, they surely are its most venerable and experienced practitioners. They've been at it for 4,000 years. They are the masters of every tributary gesture, every nuance of hierarchical ritual. In a land so exquisitely sensitive to protocol, rolling staircases don't just disappear at arrival ceremonies. Indeed, not one of the other G20 world leaders was left stranded on his plane upon arrival. Did President Xi Jinping directly order airport personnel and diplomatic functionaries to deny Barack Obama a proper welcome? Who knows? But the message, whether intentional or not, wasn't very subtle. The authorities express no regret, no remorse, and certainly no apology. On the contrary, they scolded the press for even reporting the snub. No surprise. China's ostentatious rudeness was perfectly reflective of the world's general disdain for President Obama. His high-minded lectures about global norms and demands that others live up to their international obligations are no longer amusing. They're irritating. Five things you need to know about the VA gubernatorial race. Fast forward to now, with a new president and a newfound respect for the greatest nation on the planet. Not only was President Trump given a hero's welcome when he landed in Beijing, but the Chinese will be treating him to a state dinner in the country's sacred forbidden city, a first for any president in history. More on the historic event from CNN. Donald Trump will receive an honor in Beijing not granted to any U.S. president since the founding of the People's Republic of China, official dinner inside the Forbidden City. When Trump and his wife Melania land in the Chinese capital Wednesday, they will join President Xi Jinping and his wife, Peng Luan, for a tour of the Forbidden City, the historic palace that housed Chinese emperors and their families for almost 500 years. Trump is expected to dine with Xi inside the Jianfu Palace, although the exact location of the dinner hasn't been confirmed. The building dates back to the 18th century and was fully restored in 2005, making it one of the most well-preserved parts of the palace complex. So while the American left-stream media would have us believe that President Trump isn't respected by world leaders, the truth of the matter is it's not Trump who isn't respected, it's Obama who wasn't. Isn't it nice to have a real leader in the White House again?